Welcome, welcome back at I need help at C squared. In this example, we have to graph uh, the function f of x, which is given here. And we need to find the domain and the range of this function. I'm going to graph this uh, function using transformation, and I'm going to start from y equals 1 over x, the reciprocal function, which looks like this. And we have two important points here, easy to be found, 1 and 1. Right, when x is 1, y is 1, and negative 1 and negative 1. I'm going to use these two points also for uh, showing the transformation. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to graph y equals 2 over x, which is uh, the same like 1 over x, but we have this stretch factor of 2. And the stretch factor of 2 will uh, change the graph of 1 over x by simply uh, doubling multiplying by 2 the output so that 1 and 1 becomes 1 and 2 and negative 1 and negative 1 becomes negative 1 and negative 2. Other than, the, other than that the graph looks pretty similar. It's gonna have the same vertical and horizontal asymptote of uh, x equals 0 and y equals 0. Then I'm going to move to the next transformation, which is this minus 1, which tells me the graph is going to be moved one unit right. So for moving that unit right, I'm going to move this vertical asymptote, and that will be here, one unit right at x equals 1. And also, if I move this point one unit right, that becomes 2 and 2. And this point, if I move one unit right, becomes 0 and negative 2. And we have the graph. And we have one more transformation to do it, which is this plus 3, that means the graph needs to be moved 3 units up. So I'm going to move the last graph, this one, 3 units up. That means I'm going to move this horizontal asymptote first. 1, 2, 3. Keep this vertical asymptote, 1 at 1. And then let, now let's see what's happened with these points. This 2 and 2, if you move 3 units up becomes 2 and 5. And this 0 and negative 2, if you move 3 units up, becomes 0 and positive 1. And we have the graph. We, sk we sketch the graph. This is the graph of f of x. I have a better graph right here and you notice we I kind of have the same value 0 and 1 2 and 5 and in fact you can get more points by just plug some number in if you, in case you want an accurate picture you see also the asymptotes but now I'm going to use the graph to find the domain the domain means what kind of value you can plug in so now I'm going to look and I see uh, I can plug any x value Right, a problem is right here because I have this vertical asymptote, but then I can plug again value. So the domain is any number excepting that one. If you need the interval notation, negative infinity one, union of one infinity. What about the range? The range means what you can get out of the function. And we look in here, we can get all the values until we get right here at 3. And then again, we can get all the values. So the range is any number but, but uh, 3. And here I should have crossed that one. Or if you need the interval notation, negative infinity, 3 union 3 infinity 
And of course, this problem can be done using a different method, but in this one I use transformation. If you enjoyed this little clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see Square for more help. Thank you.